Hello, hello, welcome back to another video. So Alibaba has just completed their convertible senior notes offering and I will be explaining exactly what it is and also give you guys my thoughts at the end as well. And to be honest, it was quite a lot for me to digest but I will try my best to make it as simple as possible and weed out all the finance terms. If you want to read the full article, you can just go to the investor relations page and click on this and you can read the whole letter if you want. And let's start. So what is a convertible senior note it is basically a bond that can be converted into stock. And I will go more into the exact details in a bit. So basically, Baba is doing a private offering to people who are interested in buying this convertible senior notes. And in my opinion, these people who are interested in the convertible senior notes are basically people that want to invest in Baba because they are likely thinking that Baba is undervalued. But yet at the same time, they are scared of the geopolitical risks and therefore these convertible bonds somewhat limit the risk that they have. And so they decide to obviously buy the bond, that's why it's completed. And so the value of the whole convertible senior notes issue is about 5B and it matures in June 2031 and it pays out an interest rate of 0.5% per year. However, from this 5 billion, they will need to purchase capped calls of 573 million, which essentially also adds to the interest rate that they are paying per year. And if we take 573.75 divided by 7, we will get around 81.96 million. 81.96 M per year over 5 years. And for easy calculation, let's just take 5 billion as the cash that they will receive. So let's take 81.96 million divided by 5B, we would get an interest payable of around 1.6%. And if we take 1.6% plus 0.5%, we will get around 2.1% per annum. So the cost of these funds of borrowing, so-called borrowing this 5 billion would be actually around 2.1% per year and not really the advertised 0.5%. However, as the senior note holder or the people that purchase this convertible senior note, they will only be receiving 0.5%. This extra 1.6% is the cost on Alibaba's side because they are purchasing these cap calls and I will be explaining what cap calls are in a bit but basically as a senior note holder you will receive 0.5% per annum and you will be able to convert it to stocks and per thousand dollars of stock you can get around 9.5 Baba shares which would mean that at the price the senior note buyers are paying, each share is worth around 105 USD and they have actually done the calculation for you in the letter if you're going to read it and they've also mentioned it is basically about a 30% premium over the current share price of 80.8 and so the benefits of a senior note holder would be 0.5% per annum plus a so-called unlimited amount of upside if the shares go above 105 USD. And the benefits for Baba for selling this convertible senior note is that they get a cheap loan of 2.1% plus maybe saving on currency exchange. And to be honest, I do not know if they think that this would have crashed the share price a little bit because it actually works out in their favor as well because they can buy shares at an even cheaper rate and if they predicted this then it is some super genius level thinking and so what are they going to do with this 4.5 to 5b it is to purchase back shares they mentioned that they're going to purchase approximately 14.8 million for further share repurchases from time to time under the company's existing share repurchase program as well as to fund the 500 plus million cap calls transaction. But I also want us to note that 14.8 M in shares at $80.8 .8 only equates to 
around 1.19 billion and if we include the cap calls of 0.57 b only equates to 1.768 billion which means they have around 3 to 3.3 billion left in usd and how long will they take to actually deploy this 3.3 billion i'm not sure but one thing to take note also in my opinion is that if they're buying around 4 to 4.5 billion in ads they will likely also need to buy back around 4 to 4.5 billion in ordinary shares so that would equate to around 8 to 9 billion of total shares and from my understanding of how the cap calls work is that alibaba is paying 573 million to purchase these cap calls so that in the case of the share price appreciating a lot let's say the shares go from 80.8 dollars to 150 dollars then the senior note holders would actually be able to convert their bond into stock at a price of 105 which would net them 45 usd per share and what this cap call actually does is that it will actually get profit to cover this 45 dollars so that alibaba does not have to pay out of pocket but because these capped calls are kept at 161.6 usd it will only be able to cover profits for the senior note holders until 161.6 per share so essentially this 573 million can only cover 56 dollars per share which is obviously up to 161.6 per share and anything more than this it seems like baba will be needing to pay out of pocket or they can just dilute shares from the shares that they have already bought for example from the initial 14.8 million and so that's about it for what's going on and so in my opinion issuing this convertible senior note is basically just getting a loan at a low interest rate and at an interest rate of 2.1 percent i would somewhat consider it free money I do not know if they actually need to do this or if they just want to do this. Needing to do this would mean that their funds are tied up somewhere else or they might be unable to access these funds. And one thing to do this would be them actually seeing it as an opportunity to do some finance mumbo jumbo to basically save some money on interest and possibly also the currency exchange and more so for greed for a quick profit i think it would be better if they not only announced the 14.8 million ads share buyback but that they actually announced that they will buy back even more shares and not just say that these funds will be used for future buyback i also think that it would be very likely that by 2031 for baba shares to be more than 161 dollars per share so i do not get why they even need to purchase the cap calls i would rather they just to purchase shares at an undervaluation overall do i think this is a good move i think that it is pretty neutral to be honest and if i have to pick between positive and negative i think it would still be positive because no matter what buying shares at a cheap valuation is a commendable thing for alibaba's management i do not actually see a clear objective from this it honestly could be just as simple as not wanting to convert money into usd to purchase usd shares and basically also being a little greedy in wanting to save interest costs from for example taking a normal bank loan and on its own i do not think it actually changes much for alibaba however if they continue to issue this uh, convertible senior notes kind of thing throughout the year let's say 5 billion next quarter and another 5 billion after that then i think that it will start to actually do something however just on its own i do not think it changes much and that's about it from me and so thank you guys for watching and please help to like the video and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one bye bye